The Wolf and the Seven Little Goats Once upon a time, there was a goat who had seven little kids. She loved her kids more than anything in the world, just like any mother loves her children. One day, she went to the market to buy food for her kids. Dear children, I am going to the market to buy food, and you must be good and watch out for the wolf. Do not open the door for him. He will try to deceive you with various tricks, but you will easily recognize him by his rough voice and black paws. Go without worry, mommy. We will be careful and won't open the door to him. The goat said goodbye to her kids and went peacefully into the forest. The wolf, who was lurking nearby, saw the goat leave and waited a bit, then sneaked up to the window and peeked inside. When he saw the kids playing happily, he couldn't resist his hunger and immediately knocked on the door. Who is it? It is your mommy. I have returned from the store and brought you something nice. We will not open the door, you are not our mommy. Her voice is gentle and soft, and yours is rough and harsh. We know who you are, you are the wolf. The wolf ran to the nearest shop and bought some honey to soften his voice. He returned to the goat's house and knocked on the door again. Open the door, children, your mommy is back and has brought you something nice. Wait, remember what mother told us. First, show us your paw, and if it's white, we'll open the door. The other kids agreed with their wise brother. Slide your paw under the door so we can see, then we'll open it. The wolf made a mistake and slid his paw under the door. When the kids saw that it was black, they refused to open the door. We will not open the door, you are not our mommy. Her paw is white as snow, and yours is black. The wolf quickly devised a new trick. He went to the bakery and secretly took some flour, which he used to whiten his paws. Coming back to the house for the third time, he knocked on the door. Open the door, dear children. Your mommy is back and has brought you something nice. Show us your paw. The wolf showed his paw. Seeing that it was white, the kids thought their mother had really returned and opened the door. The wolf rushed inside. When the kids realized they had been deceived they started to run and hide. The wolf found almost all the kids and swallowed them except the youngest. Since he was already full he didn't he want to look for him further. He went outside lay down under a tree to rest and fell asleep. Soon the mother goat returned home. Seeing the door wide open she ran as fast as she could. The house was a mess and the goat immediately knew what had happened. She sat on a chair and started crying. Hearing their mother's crying, the youngest kid came out of the wall clock and ran to her. Through tears, he told his mother everything that had happened. The two went outside for a walk and saw the wolf sleeping under a tree. The mother immediately thought of her kids. In her own way, she freed her children from the wolf's stomach and instead filled it with stones. When the wolf woke up, he was very thirsty. He went to the river to drink some water, leaned over, but the stones pulled him in, and he fell into the river, which carried him far away from the kids and their home to a completely different place. Animation, Yelena Ristek. Voices from the website, voicebooking.com. Music from the website, zapsplat.com. The Princess and the Frog Once upon a time, there was a king who had three daughters. The first two were married, while the youngest lived in the castle. 
For her birthday, she received a golden ball from her father, which she cherished the most. Every afternoon in the courtyard, she played with the ball, tossing it up and catching it, singing and dancing. But one day, the ball didn't return to her hands, instead, it fell, rolled, and dropped into a well. The princess looked into the well, but it was very deep, and she couldn't see the bottom. She became very sad because she lost her golden ball and started to cry. Why are you crying, princess? The princess looked around, but she didn't see anyone, only a fat, ugly frog. Was it you who spoke, frog? Yes, it is me. Such a beautiful girl shouldn't be sad and crying. I lost my golden ball. It fell into the well. I'll retrieve it for you, but you must promise me that you'll let me eat with you at the table for one day, eat from your plate, and sleep in your bed. I promise, just please bring me the ball. The frog jumped into the well and immediately retrieved the princess's ball. She just grabbed it and ran back to the castle, disregarding her promise. Wait, you promised me something. But the princess paid no attention to the frog's words. During dinner, there was a knock on the door. Who is it? The servants opened the door, and there stood the frog. The frog approached the king and told him what happened in the garden and about the princess's promise. What you promised, you must fulfill, said the king, commanding his daughter to let the frog sit with them at the table. The frog hopped to the table. Pass me your plate. The frog enjoyed the meal, but the princess just glared angrily. I'm feeling quite tired, take me to your room and to your bed. And so, reluctantly, the princess had to take the frog to her room and put it in her bed. And a good night kiss. What? The princess exclaimed, but the frog sadly pleaded with her to kiss it. She puckered her lips, closed her eyes, and kissed the frog. When the princess opened her eyes, there sat a handsome young man on her bed. Thank you for saving me. I've been waiting for years. Once, an evil witch cursed me, and only a princess who would allow me to eat with her at the table from her plate, let me sleep with her in her bed, and would finally kiss me could break the curse. I am Prince Luca. The princess fell in love with Prince Luke, and soon they got married and lived happily ever after. The music was taken from the website Zapsplat. The voices were taken from the website voicebooking.com. The animation was created by Yelena Ristek.